Hello friends, warm welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Robindra. Today I shall discuss about myths and facts associated with the jaundice. Keep watching. Jaundice is caused by the liver problems. If you do not have a jaundice, you do not have hepatitis. The fact is, this is not always the case. The rupture of the blood, obstruction of the bile flow, and extra rupture of the red blood cells can also cause jaundice. 70% of the children and 30% of the adults may not have jaundice with acute hepatitis infection. Some patients may present only with the constitutional symptoms such as fever, vomiting, poor appetite, lethargy with deranged liver function tests. Bland food and the boiled vegetables are the right kind of food for the viral hepatitis. The fact is, nutrition is very important for the improvement of the liver function. Limiting oneself to only bland and the boiled food can easily lead to protein calorie malnutrition during the prolonged illness. Doctors do not advise to eat fast flavors during jaundice because this can cause nausea. So you need to eat a normal balanced diet with less spices. It helps in fixing liver faster which provides the right nutrition to the body. Eating yellow color foods can increase the chance of jaundice. The fact is, people believe that eating yellow colored foods such as dal, turmeric powder, and lemon can up your risk of jaundice. However, this is not true. In fact, foods like turmeric are good for liver as it is loaded with anti-inflammatory properties and also helps in detoxifying the liver. The antioxidant in the lemon juice helps in flushing the free radicals from the liver and help the organ to recover from the infection. Hence, these are important during the jaundice. Sugarcane juice is the best treatment for jaundice. The fact is, though sugarcane is a good source of carbohydrate, and various studies have shown its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activities which helps in increasing the nutrients in our diet but this is certainly not the treatment option. It is safe to consume alcohol as soon as the jaundice disappears. The fact is, the liver takes up to 6 months to repair itself. Alcohol should be avoided for 6 months after hepatitis A and E and for a lifetime in patients who develop chronic hepatitis B and C. The extra sleep is normal during jaundice. The fact is, although fatigue is common during jaundice, but the changing pattern of excessive sleepiness or sleep, that is sleepiness in the day and insomnia at the night, is not normal. This can be a warning sign of liver failure, which indicates the need of emergency medical care. Hepatitis B can be transmitted by the mosquito bites. The fact is, Hepatitis B cannot be transmitted by any insect bites including mosquitoes. Mosquitoes transmit diseases such as yellow fever and malaria. Mosquitoes and other insects are not efficient vectors for viral hepatitis. There are no known cases worldwide of transmission by mosquito. Hepatitis virus cannot survive outside the human body and cannot spread within the family. The fact is, Hepatitis A can live outside the body for months depending on the environmental conditions. In a contaminated food, Hepatitis A virus is killed when exposed to temperature more than 85 degrees centigrade for one minute and the freezing does not inactivate Hepatitis A virus. Hepatitis B virus is 10 times more infectious than Hepatitis C virus and 50 to 100 times more infectious than HIV. Hepatitis B virus can survive in dried blood for up to 7 days and remains capable of causing infection. Hepatitis C virus can survive on environmental surfaces up to 16 hours and it can spread within the household but this does not occur very often. If hepatitis C virus is spread within the household, it is most likely as a result of direct through the skin exposure to blood of an infected household member. In case of hepatitis A and E, by the time jaundice appears, the patient stops shredding the virus in the stool and becomes non-infectious. If one gets hepatitis A, then one is immune to other forms of hepatitis. The fact is, 
Patients with hepatitis A get lifelong protection against hepatitis A only. This occurs due to immunoglobulin G antibodies which appear early in the course of infection. However, one is still at risk of infection with other forms of hepatitis. Similar to the hepatitis A, if one gets infected with the hepatitis B in the past and has cleared the virus, he or she cannot get infected again. However, this is not the case with the hepatitis C virus. Even if you have been infected with the hepatitis C virus and cleared the virus, or if you have been successfully treated and cured, you can still be reinfected with hepatitis C virus. People living with the hepatitis cannot continue having sex. The fact is, there are five types of hepatitis hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Hepatitis A and E are a waterborne disease, and their epidemics are usually from the contamination of the water source of the sewage, so there is no problem in having sex. However, the transmission of the hepatitis B and C can occur via the sexual contact, but this is very unusual. Majority of the studies conducted to date have shown a chance of up to 3% of contracting hepatitis C virus through unprotected sex. The transmission is more likely when blood is present or when there is co infection of the HIV. Hence, the transmission of the hepatitis via the sexual contact can be easily prevented by vaccination or the use of better type of contraception. And if you have any comments or queries, please write to me below. I'll be more than happy to answer. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.